What's up, everybody? I'm Dre. Yes, I'm back. And this is a table bracket for a custom table we're making for world champion golfer Bryson DeChambeau. When programming this part in solid cam, there were three tool paths that really stuck out to me that I want to share with you guys today. So meet me over at my computer and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So I know cam softwares can seem intimidating if you've never used one, but I want to try to show you guys that they can be simple and really powerful and worth understanding even if you're not a programmer. With that being said, let's get into it. This was one of the first parts I programmed in SolidCam from start to finish. I'm not going to take you guys through the hours of programming that went into it, but there were three toolpaths that really stuck out to me as being really helpful. The first one I want to show you guys is Morph Between Two Boundary Curves. It's a surfacing toolpath that allows you to select your drive surfaces and then two lines that will both constrain and shape your toolpath. So all you have to do is select the surfaces that you want the tool to cut. Those are called drive surfaces. Then we need to select the first of two lines that are gonna shape our toolpath. So similar to how we selected our drive surfaces, we're just gonna be able to click right on our model and walk it around the edge of the part along our drive surfaces. Then we just need to select our final edge curve. And the great thing about SolidCam is everything is in SolidWorks. Then we would just select our tool, select our step over, and that's all it takes for this tool path to work perfectly. And as you can see, now we've got a nice, smooth surfacing tool path that follows the contour of our part along those two lines we selected. So if you guys watched our last video, then you know how impressed I was with the YCM C10 and how rigid it was for the roughing. After doing all the finishing, my opinion hasn't changed at all. I'm even more impressed now than I was before with how accurate this machine is. If you guys are interested in finding out more about the YCM lineup, head on over to our website at titansofcnc.com. The next thing that really stuck out to me is their toolpath called horizontal machining. Basically what it can do is finish any horizontal surface without you giving it any more input than that. So we're not even gonna select drive surfaces. This is our full model selected right now. All we have to do is set two Z levels, our Z top and our Z bottom. And the important thing with this is just that Z top is above the surface we want to finish and Z bottom is below the surface we want to finish. So in this case, I'm just going to select this line that's above the floor of our channel here and I'm going to select the bottom of our part. This is really great when your part has a lot of layers at different Z depths. Usually you'd have to have separate processes for each depth, but with this you can have them contained all in one process. The final toolpath I want to show you guys is thread milling. Now I know that doesn't sound exciting because every cam software has thread milling included in it, but SolidCam has one distinction that I've wanted since I started programming, incremental step overs. So the thread milling process is going to be very familiar to anyone who's used cam software before. You select your thread mill, which in this case is a half 13 multi-form thread mill. You select your levels, we're starting at the top of the part, and we're going 831 deep. So you just type in your major diameter, your minor diameter, and then over here is where it gets interesting. So our first step over is gonna be 20 thou. So because of the design of the thread mill and the shape of our threads, our first step over can be a lot bigger than the subsequent step overs. So we're gonna start with a 20 thou first step over. Our minimum step over is gonna be five thou and we're gonna leave a thou and a half for our finish. So we're gonna take one finish pass and then a spring pass. The spring pass is in there to guarantee that there's no taper in our threads. If you go to titansofcnc.com, there's a maker's edition for our solid cam that's available for download that's completely free. Also be on the lookout for our solid cam academy. We're gonna be releasing new videos soon. So those were the three tool paths that stood out to me with this project. I hope you guys found this helpful. Leave us a comment, like the video, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you on the next one.